Hey guys, thank you for tuning in to SimTech channel in this series of tutorial on components of an electrical substation. In this tutorial, we're going to look at yet another important uh, component found in an electrical substation, namely the lightning arrestor. So stay tuned until the end of this tutorial where we're going to discover a little bit more about this important component. So if you walk into a substation, you're going to find many components that cause these uh, familiar shape, right? So one of them is the bushings, as you can see here. These ones are usually mounted on top of transformers to basically protect the conductors going into the winding connections. And obviously the lightning arrestor, which is a subject matter here. And you also have disconnectors and isolators that got this very familiar shape. Now, before we go ahead and define what actually is a lightning arrestor, if you find this tutorial useful, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to SimTech channel. I thank you so very much for your support. A lightning arrestor, as the name implies, is basically the law enforcement against lightning, right? So what happens when a lightning strike? A lightning, when it strikes, it induces a high voltage, right? It induces a high voltage. Remember, we're talking about electrical protection here. Now, so that high voltage induced by lightning is often not welcome by the electrical equipment that is uh, being attacked by the lightning. So then you have to call into the lightning arrestor to basically divert that high voltage created by the lightning onto ground. So that is, in a sense, the work of a lightning arrestor. It divert the high voltage induced by a lightning onto ground. Okay. Now, if we may go back to the simple concept of Ohm law, which is V is equal to I times R, right? So that basically means I is equal to V over R, right? Now, this here uh, means simply that the higher the voltage, right, the higher the current, okay? So if the resistance stay fixed, you increase the voltage here, you're going to get a high current. So when a lightning strike, it's increased the voltage, right? It's increased the voltage. Now remember, your electrical components have a constant resistance, right? Because it's designed like that. But now if you increase the voltage across its terminal, it's going to try to induce a high current, which the electrical equipment is not going to sustain. So it's going to break. Okay, so to prevent that damage from happening, then you call in a lightning arrestor that basically going to take that voltage high current induced and drive it down to ground, thereby protecting your electrical equipment. Right, as always with electrical equipment or components, they always come in different types as uh, many manufacturers try to uh, manufacture different types of uh, electrical component. So lightning arresters, is, uh, they are not immune to that. So the most common type of lightning arrestor is the spark gap arrestor, right? So the spark gap arrestor, as the name implies, it's got a small gap between uh, the two electrodes, as you can see here. So when a lightning strike, then you're going to have an arc that's going to be created between uh, that small gap, okay? And the high voltage created by the lightning will then create that arc and that will drive the current down to ground, therefore by protecting your electrical equipment. So these lightning arresters, they mostly mounted near power transformers, which is one of the most expensive equipment found on electrical substations and many other expensive pieces of equipment that you don't want to be damaged by a lightning arrestor. So this is the spark gap arrestor. Now the other type of lighting arrestor is this one here right here on our screen. So that is based on the metal oxide resistor. Now this resistor is a non-linear resistor that is inserted internally of this uh, lightning arrestor. So this non-linear resistor basically means when the voltage increases, the resistance also decreases. So uh, on a normal operating condition, so by the way, this is the same operation as an MOV that is uh, that stands for metal oxide varista. That is very much uh, uh, mostly widely used in electronic circuit 
we're going to look at that in a moment so basically when the voltage across uh, the terminal increase the resistance internally decrease thereby creating a high current that will then flow to protect your equipment so in an electrical system if you want reliability right you want continuity of supply you need to have lightning arresters installed uh, near your most valuable uh, piece of equipment because they're going to help maintain the stability of your grid okay and lightning arrester they not only install on substations right you can also find them installed in houses if you want your house to be protected by a lightning you will typically install a lightning arrester to provide also protection now we move on to the next uh, 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 type of uh, protection provided by these lightning arrester on electronics component that is the mov right or the metal oxide varista now the operation of this mov is obviously the same way we've described the previous one so basically you're going to have uh, a non-linear resistance here that in a normal operation let's say this is a piece of equipment like this is your tv so your tv is supposed to operate at the uh, 120 volt uh, rms okay or 230 volt for that matter right now in a normal operation they, they these these this 120 volt or 130 volt is small enough okay it's too small to uh, to trigger the non-linearity of this resistor here so you're not going to have a current that will flow here the current will flow into your device okay and then you're going to have your tv working but now if you got a high voltage spike here lightning or surge or anything instability on your power system then you've got this voltage shoot out to something like 500 volt okay so you got 500 volt all of a sudden this electrical equipment was not rated for the 500 volt now you need protection this mov is going to detect that high voltage and the resistance is going to decrease then the current is going to flow this way and to earth and that's going to provide protection for your electrical equipment so in this case you're going to have life uh, neutral and your power earth okay so you can have an mov connected between life and earth so it can protect this way and you can have an mov connected between your neutral here and earth okay and you can have your mov connected between your life to neutral and continuing down to earth to provide connection so you never know when the high voltage uh, spark or surge is going to be coming from it might be coming from your neutral line or it might come from your line so it doesn't matter whichever it comes you've got a triple or double protection and your equipment here will be protected at all time so this is like here right now you can see this mov here it says 10d471 so this 10 here basically stands for the size this is a 10 millimeter mov and the 471 mean the clamping voltage is 471 so that basically means 470 volt okay so as soon as the voltage exceed 470 volt this mov is going to start clamping so you better use it on the 300 volt or something less if you exceed 470 it's gonna start clamping and then deny current to equipment obviously protect your equipment in other way so this is it guys for this tutorial i hope you find it very interesting and useful and please uh, give this tutorial a thumbs up and subscribe to simtech channel so next time if you come across an electronic device uh, with this component you must understand that these are movs they are basically used to protect your equipment against uh, high voltage surges so that is it. Until next time. Cheers.